Well, yesterday I asked you a question based upon this X-ray, and I asked you two things: one, what is your diagnosis? Two, what are the syndromes associated? And the name of the classification of this condition. In this X-ray, you can very well see that radius is absent. It's an X-ray of the upper extremity where radius is absent. So this condition is called as club hand. More precisely, radial club hand. If ulna is absent, you can call it ulnar club hand. Now this radial club hand is associated with certain syndromes. Let's say, for example, TAR syndrome, TAR, thrombocytopenia with absent radius, Holt Oram syndrome, which has certain cardiac defects like atrial septal defect and all, Fanconi's anemia, Vater or Vector syndrome which has vertebral anomaly, anal atresia, cardiac issues, tracheostivisal fistula, and renal issues. Now the classification that we use is called Bain and Klug classification, also what is called as Heckel's classification, but primarily you can call it Bain and Klug classification, which is four types. Type one is mild hypoplasia, where the distal end of the radius is absent, as you can see. Type 2 is hypoplasia, which is a little severe form in which you see a little more shortening of the radius along with bowing of alarm. Type 3 is dysplasia, where you can see just this much part of the radius, probably in the proximal area, rest everything is absent, and D is complete absence of radius, which is the severest form. So type 1, 2, 3, 4, as you go from 1 to 4, it becomes more severe. So one is mild hyperplasia, two is hyperplasia, C is dysplasia, D is complete absence. So radius is absent, two types of absence, partial, complete. Complete absence is more common than partial absence. It is primarily a longitudinal deficiency disorder in which there is absence of radius as we have discussed, but usually along with that you will find absence of scaphoid, trapezium, and even the thumb. Even if thumb is present, it is rudimentary. How do you treat? Uh, first of all, syndromic associations have to be ruled out. And then you plan for the surgical part in type 2, 3, 4 of Bain and Clark classification in which we do a procedure called alarization and reconstruction of the thumb called polycization. I hope this video helps you and uh, uh, stay tuned for more of them. Thank you.